What's happening, y'all? Coach Holloway back with you again. So today what I want to do is I want to do a video on uh, one of the more underrated players in the NFL. So everybody knows that Christian McCaffrey is the best running back in the league this year. But who I want to talk to you today is about the best player not named Christian McCaffrey, and that's Kyron Williams. He was drafted out of Notre Dame in the fifth round last year, and this year he came on the scene along with all the other weapons the Rams have on offense. As a player, I would describe him as uh, uh, two people combined. Uh, my first is uh, Warwick Dunn, played for my Falcons, because he has the vision uh, to run in between the tackles and find space in there. I also compare him to Emmitt Smith, uh, who also had great vision, but he also had a short, powerful body, standing about 5'9", uh, about 200 pounds on his own. Kyron is about the same size, a little bit under 200 pounds, but he has a lot of power that he's able to use to break tackles. So to me, Kyron's best trait is his vision and footwork, and I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit about that right here. So we have a dive concept right here. You have the blocking schemes, and we have a motion as well. So I want to show you how he presses the line and then finds the hole with his vision. So as it takes off, look here. You see nothing's open in the immediate vicinity, so he has to go to the open hole, which is to his right. Cuts across the formation and even makes a move on a guy in an open field. Wherever it is green, that's where he's going. So as a running back coach, I typically prefer to have a one cut back, a guy that presses the hole and then makes a move. So watch on this play with this counter right. Okay, it's an inside counter, so he's supposed to be going to the right side of the center. But as you can see, nothing's there. So he has to go and bounce off of the pulling tackle, the backside tackle who pulled to this side, and he bounces out. Also good finish here with this stiff arm. And we're going to get this strength in a little bit, but excellent read. And so here we have a zone play, an outside zone to the left. And what you want to do in this particularly is you want to push the outside as far as you can until you have to turn yourself back in. So you see, he pushes this thing outside as far as it can, but then he sees the DN, the 4 eye technique. He's able to stop the play from the point, so he has to cut back and weave his way through to find the open space. What I like about one cut backs like this is that they uh, use their eyes and feet and follow the blocking scheme, follow their blockers, set them up so that they can explode for bigger runs. It's not just you running a straight line into somebody's back, but actually using uh, space and vision. This is an outside zone concept going to the right this time, and this time he gets the outside that he's looking for, the outside lane, but I want you to see what he does on the second level once you come into contact with a linebacker. So look at 58 down here. You see him getting off the block. He's about to take the outside, but Kyron sees this, diagnoses it, and then cuts back to get in the middle of the field and makes another cut to get back outside for the score. So I call this play a uh, dive, but it has an inside zone concept because the back is reading A gap to A gap on either side of the center. So he, so he goes downhill, he sees the play side A is taken, but then Roquan Smith is on the other side. So what he does is he kind of sets him up with a move, get him into the blockers, and then he's able to cut back into the A. You see he stayed within the A gap the entire time. And that's what I love about what he does is that he's going to do all his jumps and cuts, but it's always going to be within the framework of the hole and the blocking scheme. So the second and most underrated part of his game is his power. Uh, and I like to call it a low center of gravity because of his stature. He stands at about 5'9", 194 pounds, uh, making him one of the smaller players in the league, but it gives him an advantage. Hate to do it to one of my UGA boys, but I got to with uh, Roquan Smith. So on this play, as you can see the difference, uh, 6'1", 236 versus 5'9", 194. All right, he's in good pursuit, but as he makes contact with Kyron, Kyron keeps driving his feet and keeps pushing Roquan back and out of bounds. That's a win for him. So his relatively short stature actually gives him an advantage if you combine his power with it. So right here you got a 6'1", 215, uh, underweighs by 20 pounds, beats Brandon Stevens with a stiff arm here, and then watch Kyle Williams' first-round draft pick, 6'4", 220. He gets him with one, throws him down, throws him forward. That's what you want to see. You want to see a running back always falling forward. So on this play, he's going to take out two guys at once. So look down here. You got uh, Marcus Williams and uh, Geno Stone. 407 pounds combined, and he just runs right through the both of them. They can't get a hand on it. He's still moving forward, moving the power forward, too. So now I'm going to show him taking on a D lineman. You got Casey Tuhill here, about a good 254 pounds himself at 6'5". He gets the stiff arm, too. We put a move and a stiff arm on him, too. And look, he's still falling forward. This one, I ain't even going to do a size comparison. I'm going to just let y'all see. So there goes stiff arm a linebacker. All right, and then this DB at the end, boy, he, he take a ride, boy. Look at that. <laughs> take a tumble. 
Yeah, so in short, Kyle Williams is one of the main reasons why the Rams have such a, a great offense and, and why they're in the playoffs right now. So I can't wait to look forward to see what his career holds. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this one, and uh, keep supporting the channel. Appreciate it.